In order to succeed with video content marketing, you need to be posting a lot of video content out there. Uh, some experts say at least once a week, others say two, three times a week, and others make it a challenge for themselves to post one video every day. So the question we get back is, how can I come up with so many content ideas? Even if I just do one video a week, that's 52 videos a year, and I can barely come up with five pieces of content ideas. So today I wanted to share with you four tools that you can use to really come up with some great content ideas very fast. And we'll start with kwfinder.com. We're going to sign in and enter a keyword. Let's say we're doing content for video marketing. What KW Finder does is, uh, you see the screen is split in two, left and right. Let's focus on the left side first, and then we go to the right. On the left side, you see the keywords. Video marketing is the keyword we entered, along with relevant keywords. Then the column trend shows you uh, how the keyword search volume is changing month to month. The search column shows you the average monthly search volume over the past 12 months. The CPC column shows you how much it will cost you to be at the top results, how much will it cost you per click uh, to be at the top results of uh, on Google when somebody searches for video marketing and uh, you know they see the ads, the sponsored uh, uh, links at the top. If they click, you will pay $32.45, and so that's very expensive. The PPC column shows you how competitive it is to bid for these terms. And the last column here shows you how difficult it would be for you to rank organically on the first page of Google. So this is more like SEO difficulty to rank. And uh, you want to be in the 30 to 50 range. Anything beyond that is uh, very difficult. You need a lot of backlinks, a lot of uh, epic content, very long content. Uh, so here it's okay with the 30s and 40s. Ideally, the green ones are below 30, and these show that it's uh, actually easy to start ranking, and uh, this would be more of the low-hanging fruit. Uh, the CPC column is interesting because it shows you how much your competitors are willing to pay for these uh, folks and how expensive it is for them to acquire these customers. The PPC difficulty shows you how many of your competitors are flocking to these keywords, and the uh, SEO difficulty shows you how many people have blogs, backlinks, and how difficult it would be for you to uh, break through with your own blog content. What you do next is you look on the right side. Uh, for each keyword, you can click through, and for each keyword, uh, you will see a little more detail on how difficult it is to rank organically, uh, the search traffic by month over the last couple of years, two, three years. And uh, the more interesting part is here, which shows you the results on the front page of, uh, of Google. So when somebody searches, on the front page, they will see these pages. You click on these pages, and then you start seeing what content they're covering, you get ideas and then you make them your own. So you add your own tweak, you add your own expertise, uh, you really want to make them your own. You're not copying the content, but you're taking ideas from them because you don't want to reinvent the wheel. Uh, your competitors have already proven to you uh, which content resonates with your audience. So at least start with that and then you will get more ideas. Maybe you have a different take on something. So let's start clicking through. So we clicked on the first result and we went to digital marketing and uh, their blog. Um, and we see the title five secrets of super successful video marketing so you're learning something about good titles what works and what doesn't numbers work secrets is a good keyword uh, successful video marketing works and uh, then you can read through this content see if you agree or disagree uh, see if there's anything you can add and then do your own take on it you can take some notes um, create a very quick mini script with bullet points and uh, then deliver it in front of the camera very naturally. So that's one. Uh, then let's go to HubSpot. That's the ultimate guide to video marketing. If you can create guides, uh, these are great content. It's evergreen content, and you can convert them into video very easily. You can talk about the um, executive summary or some uh, key ideas from the guide or some bullet points. Then we have Blue Corona. And uh, here we have again the Ultimate Video Marketing Guide for 2019. Adding a year makes it a little less evergreen, but also it can uh, boost your rankings for the year. So that's another guide. We have Neil Patel, uh, How to Get Started with Video Marketing. That's uh, another interesting title, How to Get Started. Maybe what are the problems that people are facing when they're starting with video marketing. Uh, doing how-to series is also very important because they tend to rank higher, especially for video. Google can show you on the front page of organic search results if you have videos, 
and they have the, the keyword how to in the title. Uh, whereas in many other keywords, if you don't have how to, you may be deprioritized or not shown at all in uh, Google search results. You would still appear in YouTube search results and uh, as relevant videos, but you don't get the benefit of appearing on the front page of Google search results, which can really boost your traffic. And let's try the fifth one, Vidyard. That's uh, introduction to video marketing. So what we've seen just in the five first is uh, we have uh, uh, five secrets we have uh, two guides, and we have uh, two articles on how to get started and what's working in 2019. Uh, so immediately you can get some ideas, what are the hurdles, and you can write how-to articles or scripts for your videos. Uh, you can write a guide on how to look good on camera, how to deliver great content. Um, you can do what I'm doing right now, it's uh, how to come up with great content, which is also similar to how to get started with video marketing. Um, and uh, you can also try some other keywords because you can get even more ideas. So just from this tool alone, you can probably get five ideas for each of the keywords that you should be targeting and uh, stop when you start seeing that the search volume is not sufficient. You can order these by search volume. So obviously we would skip anything that's not very targeted, so marketing, affiliate marketing, digital marketing. These we can skip because they're not going to uh, give us the exposure to the right audience. We want something with video in the key phrase. So as we scroll down, uh, B2B marketing could be interesting if we are targeting B2B audience. We did video marketing. With this tool alone, you should be able to get at least 50 ideas. So that will be your year's content calendar covered right here. Now the second tool I want to show you is spyfu.com. Here you can put the website of one of your competitors. Let's say whydraw.com. And what we do here is we want to see uh, what results they're getting organically, but also on the paid side. We can get some ideas on both sides, but primarily we want to focus on the organic search SEO. We see that they're getting quite a bit of volume, 55,000 SEO clicks. And if you scroll down, uh, you can learn more about your competition, uh, both on the paid side and the organic side. The organic side will be more interesting for finding content. You can go to their websites, look at their blogs, see what content they're, they're uh, producing. Uh, you can find their keywords here, what keywords they're targeting, their, the entire keyword universe and their core keywords. And here you can see even the top keywords that they're ranking for. So these can start giving you ideas, you can plug them back into KW Finder for example. Um, so the way to get ideas here is to find more of your competitors find the keywords they're ranking for and put them back into KW Finder and get more ideas. The third tool I want to share with you is Ubersuggest, which is by Neil Patel. So you can type Neil Patel Uber Suggest, And it's right here, neilpatel.com slash Ubersuggest. What you do here is you can put a domain or a keyword. Let's put a domain, one of our competitors. And what you find here is some great keyword ideas, but also the traffic analyzer. That's the more interesting part where it shows you their top pages and the backlinks they're getting. So let's go to top pages and here you can see they have a page what is video scribing that gets 1390 estimated monthly visits even though it has zero backlinks. So this is a very interesting topic if you want to rank for video scribing you should write something similar and especially if you do it in video form you can uh, really beat the competition. So here you see all their top pages with their estimated monthly visits and how many backlinks they have. The, the fewer the backlinks, the easier it will be for you to rank. The higher the backlinks, you should definitely veer towards doing video uh, because it will be very difficult for you to build as many backlinks, especially when you need 325 backlinks and your estimated monthly visit would be 35 clicks. That's not worth it. So you want to target the ones that get a lot of visits, few backlinks, and if it has a lot of backlinks, do only video. Otherwise, do video and repurpose it into blog post as well. Another way to look at the results for your competitors is to click on keywords and that shows you which keywords they're ranking for, the volume for the keywords, where they appear in the organic search results, the position, so are they number one or are they number four, the estimated visits they get by being in that position based on the monthly volume, and the URL that gave them that rank. And the last tool I want to show you is Buzzsumo, where you can put a domain or keyword and Buzzsumo will show you the top 10 ranking content and it can give you much more, but you would have to pay, I think it's $100 a month. So let's say video marketing here as well. And we'll see who ranks at the top, which publications, what is the title of their post, and what kind of engagement it got. 
this can be a great source of additional topics uh, because you see exactly which topics get different engagement, not only on Google, but also on different sharing platforms. So here are the four tools. KW Finder will give you the relevant keywords, the search traffic, how difficult it is for you to rank organically with blog posts, but also how much money your competitors are paying to acquire customers with these keywords. And then on the right, you will start getting ideas from blog posts that are ranking on the front page. Spyfu will give you more keyword ideas and show you who are more of your competitors organically, but also on the paid side. Ubersuggest will help you do some research on your competitors and see which of their content is running highest organically. So you don't have to reinvent the wheel, just see what they're doing. They've done their research, they've done their hard work. You see which ones of their topics are uh, ranking highly and which ones are not getting any traction, so avoid those. And finally, on Basuma, you will see what content is getting more social shares, uh, what's getting more engagement outside of the Google platform. And with these four tools, it should be very easy for you to create a content calendar with 100, 200 topics for the year. Let me know if you have any questions or if you came across any problems or if you have suggestions for other tools to use. And most importantly, get started with video today.